I'm doing this one live instead of my usual post it and put it on YouTube um, directly. So there are no take no no takeovers in this one. What do they call it retakes. I just keep store. I actually have my laptop so I can see if you guys are making any comments, which leads us to why I, this is when we first started doing the Facebook lives. Well, I should say when I started doing them, they were a totally different animal. They were. It would be me with this little. Oh, oh, I got to kill my volume on here. Where's the volume? There it is. All right. So what I used to do with my original Facebook lives was I used to roll around with this little cart and sit in front of somebody's booth and hold up things, and then people would tell me what they wanted, and I had my little laptop with my cart. Which we brought the cart, the uh, laptop back in because the Sunday night at six o'clock is our our monthly. We do once a month. We do a shop tour where it's shop and tour. You get to see the shop. Um, it'll probably run about three hours because um, that's the time that, that Facebook gives you for the uh, amount of a live. So let me just open this so I can make sure I'm actually visible here. It's a little slower than the, the computer. So what we're going to have do <laughs> Sunday night, I'm going to actually have, because the last time we did the live, Don was up here on the computer and I walked around with the camera and he had to keep running back and forth with the stuff and putting the tags on it. So this time, we're going to actually have a bunch of tables set up in the shop. He's going to be in my little rolling chair with my little rolling cart and my laptop. So he'll be able to do that and we won't have so much running because he was tired and I was getting a little tired. So that's what that is. So tonight I'm just going to go really quickly through a box that just came in this week from our one wholesaler that we get a lot of our linens from. And when I say linens, we have a lot of beautiful runners and towels and stuff. So this, oh, the ornaments, that's the big thing in here. Um, we've been selling very well. We have these cute little onion ornaments. They're mercury, they're brand new, but they look vintage and they've been selling quite well. So I've actually brought a bunch in. So um, I do have the ability to see you guys. So if you see anything you want, um, I didn't bring a pen and paper over, but let me know and I can pull stuff aside for you. So I just want to show you what came in this one. This is from our place, the Country Home Collection and the stuff is country home like so I actually have a chair here so I'm not bending over so much and this one should not be I have a bunch of stuff coming in from one of my other ones next week that's more the bigger gifty kind of things I did the cast iron one last week so we have a lot of different towels now and again this is just really I'm going to put it up on Facebook later these are the kind I actually have velcro now I remember when this was actually like my mom would crochet this with the with the button through there. So these are with a Velcro to go through. This is the red truck check, uh, check towel. You can see it's got the cute little red truck down there. And I've got a bunch of different styles and colors in these. And these are with the tab, these are going to be $6 each on the tab. So we have it with the pickup truck. And again, these are not actual buttons. I thought they were going to be buttons. They are Velcro. And we have like the regular linen ones as well that are six in that the buffalo checker with the pickup truck with the Christmas tree in it, as well as a bunch of other beautiful towels. So there's that. Oh, I forgot I got those too. This one is the berry. This is a red gingham, gingham style, I guess. And this one has pretty little pine cones. And again, these are $6 each. And we just got a bunch of fudge and peanuts and stuff in today so you can make really some lovely uh, gift baskets if you wish or make up your own gift basket to make sure you get what you want but and we have plenty of baskets to choose from or I was looking at some really cute little painted vintage crates that would look so cute with a lot of this stuff in it so this one is black and white with cardinals and that runs around the whole thing on that tab so these are six dollars each I got a few different styles this is just the red and the green and the white, and they seem to be mostly Christmas, except this one. I know people have been buying the berry. This one has a beautiful burgundy tab at the top and that on there. So, And you can always message us after the fact, more of the pickup trucks. And then uh, just a green and white. And those are six each. Those are the tab. And I've got stuff in boxes, and of course I very smartly did not grab a knife to cut those open. Okay, so these, I think we'll pass on getting to those right now, because these I have to, I'm gonna do these separately. These are little animal ornaments. I got 
a lot more than I expected. So these are little farmhouse animals that I've got to go through and see what we're doing with those. Now, the bulk of this are those ornaments that I told you about. Now we have some beautiful owl, uh, their mercury style ornaments in already. Like I said, these are going to be a surprise to me as well. These are the, what size is this? Three inch silver diamond mercury ornaments. So they are glass and it looks like a, like a little, like a hand grenade. And those are going to be, that one is, These will be $5.50 each. I don't know how well you can see those in the picture. I guess I probably should get close-ups, but this fly has been in here all day. It's probably a different fly, but it keeps attacking us and everybody else. So these are the, this is going to be the $5.50. This is a three-inch. So these are all vintage style ornaments. Yeah, we did very well. Like I said, I had to get more because then I have to do a minimum order. Uh, the small ones have been really flying out of here, I say, as the fly goes by my head. Hello, Kathy OG. Just doing a boxing, an open boxing here of new stuff, but vintage size. Wow, these are big. Okay. I'll walk up and show you up close. Like, I, this is all new to me, too. So, this is the... This is a big silver, and let's see, that one is, how many inches does that say that is? And like I said, next week I have, well, hopefully it comes in next week. I have, but it's going to be like total mix of all kinds of different stuff. Two, eight, five, nine. That is, this is five inches, and these are $10 each. So, and like I said, they're new vintage style, so they do have like a nice sturdy hook on them. This is a pretty big ornament. glass. So these are new to the shop. Like I said, I was doing a reorder of the tinies. We sold those so well already. And I knew that we were going to run out of them. And by the time I went to get more, they would have been out of them. So I'm just making sure we have plenty of in stock. This is the same size we've already done as that size. Okay. Like I said, this, I'm really, I decided to do it on the live, and, and, you know, because I'm going to load it up to Facebook anyway. So this way, if you guys see anything you want, just let me know. And again, I was talking about Sunday night. I need a blade on this. Sunday night, we're going to be doing the around the shop. I don't know if this is going to work on here. Oh, it does. And uh, Don's going to be using my laptop rolling around with a little cart. So it's, it'll be a lot easier on us this time. Okay, so this one's, I think, a new size. It's the same style as what we have up front already. And don't forget to check the postings I made today. I sold already a few things off of those. So, all right, this is the this is the onion, two inch, eight, nine, four, two, four, eight, nine, four, two, four. So these this size is three fifty, and this is called the red onion, and that's what that looks like. It's got a pretty big hook on it too. Let's see if we can't get that to focus. There we go. It's got a nice hook on it. So we got a bunch of those. And if you see anything around me that you want information on, because I know I've had a couple people say they want to see more of the stuff that's in this booth. But that's like a whole different posting. I put everything upside down. So that's the same as this one, right? I just like to test my, my eyes here. Slightly different. Okay. Let's just put big numbers on here. And I have magnifying glasses everywhere for reading all the labels. I have one eye, that's good, but the other one not so much. Okay, so this is oh. Alright, so this is the bigger onion in the red. This is considered a two inch. I don't know why they put these labels on upside down too. And now I've lost my paper. <laughs> oh, there it is. Alright. This is the three inch, and these are five dollars, and that's a pretty good size on that one. Hey, little Norma. Yeah, they are. So this one's a 
Did I say that is? Eight, nine, four, seven, two. Five dollars, and that's considered three inches. So that's a nice little onion right there. Now the red are pretty. I, I the silver ones are amazing. I, I'd love to see some of the trees that people are doing with all these the ones that we've already sold. Like I said the next unboxing is going to be a lot of fun. I I, I buy stuff. I don't even remember what I buy. Don had fun today. He got we got so many different peanuts and stuff in today, and ooh, these are cute. And uh, more fudge. We got a cranberry, or um, cranberry orange pistachio fudge. That's just this one's like looks like a little pumpkin. This is a three-inch wide ridged mercury ornament, three inches, and this one is. Five dollars also. So I'll bring this one up. Kind of looks like a little pumpkin. And it's like it's it's got like the it's new but it's old style where they like make it look old with the oxidation kind of look that they do to it. So. And then tomorrow night we uh at seven thirty we're going over to Wild West City for the haunted um, they have a little haunted train ride, and you ride out on the train for half an hour, and then you got to walk back through the haunted trail. Wild West City is in Byram, New Jersey, and it's been there, gosh, 50-something years now. It, it's really cool if you look it up. They still do the little Wild West shows and everything. It's like a little, it's got the saloon and everything. It's like a little Wild West town. It's very cute, and that's not too far from our shop. So I keep saying one of the things they need to do, because Don and I went to a concert there a couple years ago, and we saw this woman there. Nikki Breyer, who is fantastic. I mean, this woman, there, there weren't that many people in the audience, but uh, she put on a show like she had a sold-out stadium, and, and just a wonderful, very talented, and it was a fun experience, and it was in the saloon. And I said to Don, I said, you know, because you have to pay every time you go in there, because it's an experience, but, the, but they should have like a pass that you could get, that you can go to the, the little cafe, restaurant anytime for like lunch or dinner, and the gift shops should be, you should be able to go in and, and check out with like a special you know, like a yearly round pass. Because I think that those little shops would benefit from that kind of thing. Yeah, she was, Nikki's crazy. It was, was really, really an amazing show. And there's Don. Hey, honey, I'm just doing the, I decided to do the live of my unboxing instead of just doing it right up for the YouTube. Since it's going to go there anyway, why not do it now? All right, these guys are, is that right? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I thought these were going to be a little bit bigger. I mean, these are tiny. They're they're $3. They're little acorns. I thought for the for what they were that they'd be a little bit bigger, but they're not very big. So, yeah. And I was telling them how you're going to be rolling around with with my with my little cart and having this laptop on Sunday night. You're going to be the roller man. I do all the, the running around, so don't forget that 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time this Sunday night. Is this, is this the same as what we've already done? Oh, this is okay. This is in the sil Ooh, wow, I like that. Oh, good. They actually put it not upside down this time. All right, four inch silver heirloom mercury ornament. And these are. These are just seven dollars. Running man will be the what? Will be the running roller man. Yeah. So this one is seven dollars, and this is called a silver heirloom. This one's really nice, large one. I do like the hooks they put on these, so you don't have to worry about them. You know, like the. The old ornaments, even the newer ones with that little spring thing that opens that, you know, if you damage it at all, they pop and they break. Those, no, these won't last, yeah. I hope you're, 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 I'm sure, Don, as you're watching this, you're already planning on how you're going to have to put this out on the sales floor. <laughs> Only Mercury. I think we did these already, right? So many cool boxes. Some good bubble wrap in the bottom of that, too, for you, hon. I think we did these already, right? These are the red, red onion mercury, the three inch, and these are. Let's see. 
These are five dollars for this one, and this is three inches for this red onion. So that's a really robust red. It's a very old-fashioned, nice red. You tag? I just yeah, I know. I have to tag all this. That fly is still in here. That was bothering us before. It's still in here, and it, keep, it, it follows me as I walk up and down over here. Because, you know, there's just 3,600 square feet that it can go to. But, hey, let's keep following the human. 8, 9, 4, 4, 6. We have not seen that. Uh, that one is going to be $5. And this is 3-inch white. white ridge. I do not do W's and R's together very well. And this is another one that looks like the pumpkin. Yeah, so this is the same as that pumpkin-looking one. Now here's the tiny ones. This is what we reordered in. So it's got a lot of tiny boxes in. One inch red acorn. All right, you're not gonna bother with this one because it's that same as that silver one. A little disappointed in that. All right, here's the one inch uh, onion. Not everything I get is gonna be a home run. Now these are the ones I think we already have, right? Or maybe they're a little bit different. These are just $2, it's one inch. These are small, these are part of the $2 ones that we have. This is a little silver, like, uh, onion. Love you too, honey. All right. And then um, one of our regular viewers today did scoop up from Barb's, uh, from Auntie's Attic in the front when I did a, a booth shot of that. There was a box of antique ornaments right in the front, and she asked for the pictures and information on that, sent that, so those went. So don't forget, when you see things in those pictures that I put up of the booths in the shop, if you zoom it out on your phone, uh, if you zoom in on your computer or whatever, if you see things that you need more information on, just do not be shy. Message me and say, hey, you know, can you, do, can you send me better pictures of this? Can you do a close-up? How much is this? Oh, those are cute. Oh, there it is on the bottom. <laughs> this is like a puzzle for them. Eight, six, nine, three, four. Where can we put it to really mess with her? Same thing. These are just two dollars. These are like little silver pumpkin ornaments. Okay. Like I said, these are the ones that we have in the shop currently that Don has up front that have been selling quite well already. And we're not even in the season, so we want to make sure before we do hit the season and. November, like, because November 11th and 12th is going to be our next townwide, including the Scranbury Coop market. So a lot of these kind of things really do go out of here. And then December, the first weekend of December is up the road from us at Sussex County Fairgrounds is the German Christmas market. So a lot of people do come up to this area to get their, their live trees right down the road by the old abbey this one already and then they they love going to the german christmas market but all this kind of stuff it's going to start hopping and, and, and popping it's going to really start flying out of here now all the christmas it sells all year round but now we're getting up on that so again this is just a quick opening next week's will be a lot more exciting these are more of the same ornaments that we already did again a couple of these are just like two bucks each so instead of turning this so I can actually reach them, we're going to just like reach in there so I can poke myself in the arm and hurt myself, right? Okay. All right. Okay, good. We did these. Are, this is the same ornament, the little red onion. These are the $2 as the silver. Again, these are like the ones I said that we've only got a couple of these left up front. So we needed to get more of these in. And we did. This company is great because they really shipped me very quickly. The other ones, I never know when the stuff is coming, if it's coming, so. But yeah, I'm in the booth that has all the new stuff, like the candles. We have a great ephemera section. We have stickers, journal, all that kind of stuff for your junk journaling or just whatever you want to do with all that kind of stuff. We have that there. We have some really cute little collage cards. Um, this is where you'll find all the things like our little new change purses for three bucks. We have great little wooden ornaments, Halloween. We have the Christmas and the Easter ready to come out. Those are just a dollar for those little wood ornaments. 
Oh, boxy top on this one. We did not have this one in yet. Eight nine four three nine. Okay, you know this fly really. There's a ton of space to fly around in here, but please keep buzzing in my face. All right, this one's a five dollar. This is two inches, and this is red, and it has kind of the top of it looks like a big old smushed like tomato strawberry or something going on there. So that's the top on that. Just the top alone is a very fancy little bit, and then we have that. So. Like I said, not one of our more exciting unboxings. It's just a bunch of little ornaments, but I do try to do this when the stuff comes in. It's fun for me. I always feel like it's Christmas when I do this. I think this is a, another red. I think we did that's the same as that one. So I think that is it on that front. So, well, hey, Miss Mercy, I hope you're feeling well. So that is it on those. I'm going to be posting this up onto YouTube, like I said, and then I should be having another unboxing live next week as well which will have a lot more exciting stuff. Sunday night, Don will be rolling around with my laptop, helping out with that pop-ups. Well, they're not pop-up anymore because we're making them monthly, but that will be the shopping tour. So I made sure I told all the vendors by Sunday afternoon to get in here and have your booths nice and stocked and, and looking really good because the camera's gonna be on them. They're gonna be in the spotlight. So thank you for those who just popped in to just watch me open up stuff. I love opening up stuff. And I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I hope to see you guys all on Sunday night. Good night. Thank you.